Hello everyone, today we're gonna do a quick unboxing and review for this Gladi new product Power Station PS72 Let's start it So inside the box is the usual manual And the box with some um, MC4 to DC7909 plug car charging 12 volt to DC7909 and then we have a power brake for AC charging power brake to AC Here's the power station itself. It has a, a wireless charging pad on the top. Light in the back. In the front, we have the screen. Show the battery percentage, the wattage input and output wattage. In the DC, we have two USB-C 100 watt and two USB-A. We have two barrel plug rated at 12 volt, 10 amp. Also a cigarette lighter, 12 volt, 10 amp. We also have five AC port, rated at 700 watts. We have AC and DC input here. Um, the DC input is from 12 to 28 volt. So you can turn on the screen by pressing less than one second. Turn on the screen and here you can see the screen now we have zero watt in zero watt out we also have the eco mode um we can do simultaneous press between dc and ac at the same time and then the 60 hertz will flash at that time we can press the dc to take off the eco mode I guess the mode will save you power or turn off when there's no power being drawn. So if you want eco mode, you press the DC again. And the eco mode is back on. And then I guess we have to press this again. And the 60 hertz will stop flashing. That means we set at 60 hertz at eco mode. If you have a different country and you want to change 60 hertz to 50 hertz, you do the same step, uh, press AC and DC simultaneously, the 60 hertz will flash, but this time you press AC to change it to 50 hertz. Since we're in the US, so I'm going to press AC again to change it to 60 hertz. And once the setting is done, press AC and DC again at the same time. And then the 60 hertz will stop flashing. Um, let's test all the port for the DC. So how do we turn on screen? We press any button, AC or DC, real quick. The screen will turn on. In order to turn on DC, you long press DC for like two seconds and then release. And then the green light will come on. That means the DC is on. You can try the phone first. Phone. Now it's charging at, I believe it's rated at 15 watt. So right now it's charging. So the wireless pad is working. Move this. While the DC is still on, we can try the USB port. Uh, each USB is rated as 100 watt. 
So you see the screen turn on, just short press, and the screen will turn on. If you press lo longer than like one second, it will turn off the DC. And when you turn off DC, you turn off all of this block. You can see 97 watt. Let's try another USB-C. See if we can get 200 watt. screen turn off again so we just short press turn back on 169 175 182 so it's safe to say that we have two working 100 watt USB C simultaneously see 196 Next test, we'll test the USB A. So here, get in, turn on. Maybe we can try the cigarette plug as well. In the cigarette plug, you see the red light. So the cigarette plug is on and working. You can change the ampage. You can see the fan kick on. I can creep in. I can keep increasing up to ten amp. Around nine amp, the fan will start kicking on. You can see if you care. The fan is sucking in this way, coming out this way. Next is a barrel plug. A lot of people don't know what is the usage of this barrel plug. What I use it for, I use it for my router. And I use it every day with another power station. So right now it's on, you can see the green light. Let's plug it into my wireless router. And it will turn on and do a thing. Because it's just starting up, so I won't draw any power. But later you'll see that I will draw very little power. I'm using two um, barrel plugs for my one for my modem and one for my router. So both of them are working at the same time and it's draw about 20 watt total. So if you're using a DC only, it will last a very long time. If you're using a regular AC adapter to the plug, it will last less time because is using you turning on the AC inverter instead of just using the DC. I hope that makes sense. You see, right now it's drawing about one watt. It's still starting up. So if someone don't know what is a barrel plug for, you can use it for some lights. In my case, I can use it for my router or modem. Now we can talk about AC charging. So in order to turn on AC, we long press this for like two seconds and then AC is on. If you don't want to turn on DC at the same time, you can long press it and release and then it will be off. So right now AC is on, DC is off. Let's plug in something. So this should draw about 200 watt right I have another thing here so plug in it should draw about 400 450 and then all of this port is rated at 700 watt total 
So with this two, I should get very close to 700 watts. Six ninety seven. So pretty good. Let's see how it's turned out when it's over low. Have a mini and dry over here. Oh, now it's overload. In order we set it, long press this, and then overload will go away. Now everything is off, you long press this again, and the green light is on. And only this two is using power, and we should get close to 700. Right now the hair dryer is off. Once I turn on the hair dryer, it should trigger the overload. And then trigger overload. To reset it, once again, long press this, and the overload will go away. Long press it again, and the easy part will be working again. So right now should be around 200. I turn on low again. So it's within the 700. As you can see, the PS72 is very similar to EB70. They have the same amount of USB-C, which is both 100 watt, same amount of USB-A, same amount of stuff, same 12 volt. And they also use the same input, the same voltage, 12 to 20, 28 volts. The only difference is that the PS72 have five AC port with the total of seven watts. And then the EB70 had four port, also rated as 700 watt. If you get the newer version of the EB70S, it will be a total of 800 watts, increased by 100 watt. If you get a new version with the EB70S. I have the EB70, so this is only 700 watt, which is the same rating as this. The second difference between the two is that the light for the EB70 is in the front. When the light for the, for the PS72 is actually in the back. Personal preference, I guess. I think it makes more sense for the light to be in the back of the unit because if you're in the dark and you want to use the power station and the power station is off, you try to turn on the light, this one will probably blind you because you're looking right at it but either way that there are four purpose and the EB70 has one handle while the PS72 have two they are roughly the same size I don't have the, the scale but they're roughly the same weight they're roughly the same size. So both of them use the same power brick, 
rated at 200 watt max. So right now I can use the uh, turn this on. They have a sand screen too. So you can see here's the light is green. Once I plug in, I should turn red. And then it should start charging. Around 200 watts. So for solar, I'll test it. I'll test the solar tomorrow morning, and hopefully I can get close to 200 watts. But the solar is also 200 watts. For so if you're using either AC or solar, you your power station will be done in about four to five hours, which is typical. Some power station require to charge for like. 8 to 10 hours not a lot of state in the u.s have 8 to 10 hours of sunlight so four or five hours which is reasonable i think is good 200 watt is plenty to go around the screen is off again that's back on so then turn easy off by long press it and that will be off so they have the same screen with the EV70 so it only show 5 bars yeah that's the downside of this old screen I hope they put in a new screen the one that EV3A has but I guess to lower the cost they put the old screen on and this unit right now is having a cell is lower than 50 cent per watt hour which is really good for a lipo 4 battery chemistry that will this battery chemistry will last more than 2000 3000 cycle so if you go from 0 to 100 every day it will last you eight nine years I hope the screen stay on longer but no it's not but for the review you want it to stay longer but for the daily usage you probably want it to turn off because it will save power because you're not gonna stay there and look at the screen for an hour or so so once you're actually using it you actually want the screen to turn off which I think is a good thing so here I have uh, 200 watt Boot RV solar panel charging the PS72. The angle is not the best, so I'm getting half of the rated wattage 96 watt in through the included MC4 to DC7909. So as long as your panel is within 12 to 28 volt, you should be good to go. If you can install another 200 watt in parallel, you should get to the maximum 200 watt DC charging.